What up, fish people? Kenny E with Danikin Aquatics. Well, coming in at number 44 of the Danikin Aquatics Top 100 Fish of the Fish House is my Firefish. Now, what these guys are are a color morph of the Dragon Bloods. These ones are more of a yellowish color. I'll show you the male when he comes out. That is a female there. These are the last of my Mohicans. I had these stashed in another tank. And when we had the mishap earlier in the year where we lost our colony, these two were not perished, luckily. So they are stashed in my Tanganyikan tank, which I do plan to pull these two and separate them because I've had some of my fish stores requesting some of our, there's the male right there, absolutely gorgeous fish. I don't know why he's playing so shy today. He's usually pretty outgoing. There he is. But as you can see, they got rather white faces to them. And the male has these gorgeous reds and blues going through the sides of his body. We'll get him to come out in a minute. We'll concentrate on the female while we're waiting on him. Even the pe females are absolutely gorgeous. And max size, these get about four to five inches. The females stay around three, maybe four tops. And they are mouth brooders, meaning that they uh, will lay their eggs in the sand and then the female will gather them up and she'll hold them until they're ready to hatch. From my experience, most of the mamas are generally pretty good uh, to their babies. What I normally do is I'll pull the mom and go put her in a 30 gallon to 55 gallon and let her sit in there until she spits her babies. And generally I'll let her stay with her babies for a month or two. That gives her a chance to heal up and get ready for the next round. Now, Mr. Dragonblood, why don't you come out and quit being shy today? We've got folks out here wanting to see you. He's just sitting back there chilling. Well, you can see the reds up on top of him. Absolute stunning fish. Wish he would cooperate. Yeah, give us a little view. There you go. Uh, see the gorgeous reds on the side of him? And this one here is one of the babies I've raised from my original firefish line. Actually, both of these guys are. They're not brother and sister, though. There we go. Absolutely stunner. Now these are like most Africans from the Malawi lakes. They are descendants of the peacocks. That's how this bloodline was developed is through the peacock cichlids. Relatively as far as, ooh, he was getting a little gnarly with somebody. Relatively easy fish to keep. They are rather aggressive towards each other, and they can be towards other fish of the tank. But generally speaking, as far as Africans go, I would class them as moderate compared to a lot of them. They'll take a wide variety of foods. And they do like a little higher pH, so, you know, keep it around that 7, 8 to 8, 5 range. They'll be happy. But absolute stunners. Where does little Nate go? She's one of the prettiest females I've ever seen. I mean, she has just got lots of good yellow to her.
And I'm looking at her. She might actually be holding as we're speaking. Nope. Maybe not. So if you guys are liking this series, please hit that like and subscribe button. Go ahead and leave us a comment. We love answering your comments. And we are getting down, man. Well, before you know it, we'll be in the top 40. But for today, coming in at number 44 of the Danikin Aquatics Top 100 is the Firefish. Like I said, it's a breed of dragon blood. Absolute stunner. I like them because of their yellow color. When I was in my prime, I was using the females of these and uh, the strawberry peacocks. And I was getting some wonderful, beautiful, bright red stripes on the sides of them. But I have to start from scratch. And I do plan to get back into this particular line again. Because I've never had an issue selling them. So as always, guys, love your fish. This is going to be Kenny E. with Danikin Aquatics. Going to check out for now. So number 44, the firefish says, have a great day. And look for number 43 tomorrow. Or actually later today, I should say. Y'all have a great day and thanks for watching.